we had to make sure that the engine that powers all the way across New York can work well, work safely on 100% SAF. What has that involved? Well, it's involved ground testing, it's involved engineering analysis of the fuel to make sure it's okay, and also some flight testing. So we've made sure everything is great with the engine to power all the way across to New York. Uh, it is critically important. First of all, it's an important proof point and demonstration of the commercial viability in terms of putting it into the normal operations of a commercial airline fleet. Uh, it is a drop-in solution. It is one of the it, really key levers that we can pull to help decarbonize our industry. So being able to demonstrate that today is absolutely essential. So we are providing our Bioform SAK for the flight. It is the aromatic component necessary for jet fuel and that's why this flight is a 100% SAF flight where there's no modifications to the aircraft, the engines, uh, the fuel itself is you know, nearly identical to what you would see with standard jet fuel except it's bio-based, it's also cleaner burning and it's a more efficient fuel product. It's a real milestone because you know th this is taking SAF from being a, a, a theoretical thing that a lot of us talk about to something that we're actually showing it works it works in practice. You know, there's been 500,000 flights on a blend of sustainable fuel already, but none at this scale. Like there's always been a very small blend within the conventional fuel. So flying an aircraft on 100% SAF, showing that it's possible to scale it to this level. This is a real milestone in the industry. It's, it's, it's really exciting to be part of it. Well, it is very important this uh, flight because we looked at this as a typical uh, moonshot type of project and it uh, provides that idea that really using sustainable aviation fuel in uh, long haul flight is possible and therefore a uh, challenge for the policy makers and the stakeholders to make sure that they can use that in future. So aviation has significant climate effects. We think that it accounts for about 3.5% of human-induced climate effect. And um, a majority of that, or at least half of that, is due to non-CO2 effects. So we're, we're all really familiar with carbon dioxide, CO2, and the climate effect that that has. Um, aviation is a special sector in that we fly here up at around about 40,000 feet. And we have other effects on the climate system. One of those major impacts is from condensation trails or contrails, linear line shaped clouds you see sometimes forming behind aircraft. Um, those are formed on soot particles emitted by aircraft engines and sustainable aviation fuel has the potential to affect and reduce the amount of soot particles emitted by aircraft engines and thereby affect the contrail impacts that flights have if they're burning sustainable aviation fuel. So when we're burning SAF, we think that the contrail impact will be reduced. So RMI is, is one of the partners contributing to this program, and we have specifically focused on the contrails aspects of flight, uh, of climate impact from aviation. BP is one of the supplier of the main components of the fuel. Uh, this, uh, this sustainable paraffinic com kerosene, which is called SPK, which is 88% of the fuel. Our role was also to formulate it, blend it, and deliver it all the way to the wing dip of the plane to make this flight possible. I'm the captain of the flight today, but I've been coordinating this project on behalf of flight operations. You're basically making sure that we can use the fuel, make it sure it's safe, um, and just bring it all to helping to bring it all together with our engineering teams and all the collaborative partners we've been working with, Boeing, our um, aircraft manufacturer, Rolls-Royce, the engine manufacturer, and lots of other parties, academic institutes, all with a view to aviation sustainability and efficiency. And that's what we're doing here today. Charlie, for you, Charlie. Oh, yeah, Charlie. Hello there, how are
gentlemen, thank you. Thank you, everyone.